Hi, this is Kristen. I'm a park ranger at North Cascades National Park, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a backcountry reservation on recreation.gov. In this video, I will show you what buttons to click and how to confirm a reservation. Hi, everyone. I'm here to show you how to make a backcountry reservation for North Cascades National Park using recreation.gov. So you can navigate to this site using our website, the North Cascades National Park Service website. You can also search for our park up here using the search bar. So I'm going to search North Cascades and then I'm going to select Backcountry Permits. So when I click that, it'll take us to the main Backcountry Permits page here, which has important information about the rules and regulations for the park, as well as our fee policy. And then over here we have links to the park website with important information such as the Wilderness Trip Planner, our trail and climbing conditions, and we also have some frequently asked questions about backcountry reservations, so please visit our website. And then once you're ready, you can click on Check Availability, which will bring you to the Detailed Availability page. So the first thing I'll want to do is select my start date. So for this trip, I want to start on May 27th. I'm going to have two people in my group, so I'll add that. And then I'm going to change the quota view to daily groups since we allocate our permits based on groups and not people. So please make sure you change that. And then I'm going to select my starting area. So for this trip, I'm going to the East Bank Trail. So when I click on that, all the camps in that area will show up in a list in alphabetical order. So to learn more about each site, you can actually click on the name of the camp and some information will pop up. Um, and this grid here shows the availability for the campsites for these dates on, on the top here, the dates on this row. So a number indicates that there are sites available. So in this case, there's one site available. A W indicates that all the reservable sites are booked, so only walk-up permits can be obtained for those dates. And a zero um, indicates that the camp is completely booked, so there are no reservation or walk-up sites available. Um, in this case, with the group sites here, these camps have minimum group size requirements, and since I'm only a group of two, I cannot stay at the group site. But I'm going to look for the camp that I want to stay at on my first night, which is Rolling Creek. So I'm going to click on that. And you should get a check mark, which means that you have that camp selected for that date. And then for the next night, I want to stay at Lightning Creek. So I'm going to click that. And once I'm ready, once I have all my camps selected, I'm going to click Book Now. And then I'm going to enter in my email. So if you don't have a recreation.gov account, you can create one here but you will need one in order to make a permit, so please make sure that you make a recreation.gov account before you proceed. And then once I enter in my account information, it'll take me to the order details page. So please review this information and make sure your phone number is correct, your address is correct, um, your group size, we have two people, so that's correct. And then I'm going to select my entry point, so I'm going to start at the East Bank Trailhead for this trip. And I'm coming out at the same trailhead. You'll need to select your travel method, so for this trip I will be backpacking. So I'll select that. If you have any boats or stock, you can add information about that. But for this trip, I don't have boats or stock, so I can skip that. For the issuing station, this tells you where you'll need to pick up your permit. So for this reservation, I will need to go to the Wilderness Information Center. If you know your vehicle information, you can add that here. You can also add an emergency contact, as well as any comments, so that's any information you think we need to know when we're reviewing your reservation. And lastly, you'll need to read over this Need to Know section, which has important information about converting your reservation to a permit, um, our no-show policy, as well as our change and cancellation policy. So please read those. And once you have read those, you can check this box and then go over here and proceed to cart. So once the reservation is in your cart, you will have 15 minutes to pay for it. So I'm going to select proceed to payment. 
and then you will need to enter your credit card information in. So just keep in mind that your reservation is not considered booked until you pay and get a confirmation. And once you have booked your reservation, you will be able to see it under My Reservations on your Recreation.gov account. And you can also modify and cancel any reservations you have on this page as well. So I hope this helped you learn a little bit more about our reservation process. We look forward to seeing you this summer and have a great day.